very good evening class 10 students so here i'm back again after so many days and uh, we are going to start with our revision lectures now quick revision chap uh, lectures i will say because i have already made detailed video of every chapter i have made lecture of every chapter in detail um, and it is there in my playlist so you can go to my playlist class 10 and you can read there right here i'm going to quickly quickly we are going to revise the complete chapter in a very 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 short form right so it's it is like going to be a five minute revision last minute revision so uh, i'm going to start with our um, chapter number six that is the our first chapter in biology that is chapter number six life processes as you have already given your pre-boards you have revised it so many times so i think if you will revise it with me regularly now or uh, after finishing your boards or before your pre-boards uh, uh, then uh, it will is going to be really helpful for you so all the processes life processes may uh, sorry processes all the processes like respiration digestion circulation excretion in this chapter these four processes that we already discussed so all these processes either respiration digestion circulation or excretion these keep living organisms means every uh, every living organism is uh, alive because of these processes so these processes are needed to perform a specific functions as well as to perform the job of maintenance in our body so these processes are known as life processes that is the meaning of our chapter that what is life process or what are life processes respiration digestion circulation excretion because they keep every organism alive and they perform multiple functions they perform the job of maintenance so they we are calling them life processes so as you know that see till the time you will not eat food you will not get energy so that is why in our chapter in our ncrt the first topic which is given that is about nutrition and in this nutrition under this nutrition topic they have talked about plant nutrition which is very very important because many times they ask the the steps and third uh, second is the uh, nutrition in amoeba and paramecium and third one is nutrition in the human beings so these three subtopics they are given under our uh, topic that is nutrition so what is nutrition basically it is a process by which an organism obtain its food right that is what i uh, i told you that the process through which you eat that is known as basically nutrition right so the whole process by which an organism getting its food now nutrition in plants is different as nutrition in animals because plants every child knows from very beginning that plants they make their own food so whenever anyone is making its own food that is known as auto trough can you make your own food no we are dependent so animals are heterotrophs we are dependent on plants or animals for the food so nutrition in plants is different from the nutrition in animals so on the basis of this concept we have another uh, topic that is heading that is mode of nutrition if you are making your own food then those organisms they are autotrophic like plants if those who are dependent they are heterotrophic so autotrophic they utilize plants kya utilize karte and now here comes most important part is equation of photosynthesis or definition of photosynthesis uh, plants utilize co2 plants utilize water and these are the inorganic materials to prepare their food or food kya banate hain wo they make glucose and glucose is organic food by the process of photosynthesis example you can mention 
green plants so heterotrophs they do not have ability to make their own food definitely they do not have the ability to make their own food so what they do they dependent on autotrophs for their food either directly or indirectly animals fungi many students have misconception that fungus that is making its own food bachcha fungi they are parasitic basically they are depend they are or you can say they are heterotrophic they are dependent on others they do not make their own food right so fungi ko kabhi bhi autotrophs mein nahi dalna hai right next is the uh, next uh, heading is the autotrophic nutrition then now we are now we are clear that those organism which the which perform basically they uh, which perform autotrophic nutrition we call them autotroph what do we call them we call them autotrophs and autotrophs they utilize very simple inorganic material and convert it into high energy molecule there is only one high energy very high energy molecule we know and that is glucose goes so autotrophic nutrition ek wo process hai by which autotrophs they take in carbon dioxide water these are the raw material raw material matlab jiske bina to kaam hoga hi nahi in the presence of chlorophyll and sunlight they give us glucose so this is the equation which i was talking about which you have to be write it in the correct form bacche kya karte hain वाटर कहीं जा रहा होता है सी ओ टू कहीं है बैलेंसिंग कहीं है बच्चे इसको मगब तो कर नहीं सकते है ना सो टू थिंग्स आई टोल्ड यू दैट सी ओ टू प्लस वाटर दे मेक सी सिक्स एच ट्वेल्व ओ सिक्स प्लस क्या रिलीज होता है ऑक्सीजन एज वेल एज वाटर सो अगर यहाँ पे अकॉर्डिंग टू दैट यू हैव टू बी केयरफुल दैट सिक्स मॉलिक्यूल्स ऑफ वाटर अगर आप रिलीज कर रहे हो तो यहाँ पे ट्वेल्व आएगा और सिक्स कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड यू यूज सो सिक्स सी ओ टू प्लस ट्वेल्व मॉलिक्यूल्स ऑफ वाटर इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ सनलाइट वी आर प्रोड्यूसिंग सी सिक्स एच ट्वेल्व ओ सिक्स right we will write it again c6 uh, c6 co2 plus how many molecules 12 in the presence of sunlight what are you forming c6 h12 o6 kitni oxygen 6 plus kitna water that will be 6 so it should be on your tips now raw material we know that sunlight chlorophyll co2 water these all are the raw material sunlight um, Uh, basically the first which we say the uh, light energy or the sunlight who absorb it which molecule absorb it that is uh, the chlorophyll one chlorophyll absorb it that is why you need chlorophyll co2 co2 ke liye we have stomata so co2 uh, enter through stomata and oxygen is released as by product water water we plants always they get from the roots of the soil so where does this photosynthesis happen one word answer chloroplast in the leaf leaf they have chloroplast and in the chloroplast in the chloroplast there is the performance of photosynthesis if you remember this is the structure of chloroplast so chloroplast ke paas aisa kya hai it has a pigment it has pigment what are these pigments these are chlorophyll green pigment so ye question that is what these points they are given in your ncert as such as such and these are asked also as such three points mention three points or mention main events of photosynthesis the first very important point in the photosynthesis is absorption kiski light energy who is absorbing chlorophyll 
सो एब्जॉर्बशन ऑफ लाइट एनर्जी बाय क्लोरो फिल बेसिकली इफ द क्लोरो फिल विल नॉट एब्जॉर्ब देन द फोटो सिंथिस विल बेसिकली नॉट स्टार्ट point is clear that that is absorption of what is the absorption of light energy and who is absorbing it chlorophyll then after absorption there is conversion conversion of light energy into chemical energy and the moment there is uh, this conversion happens there is splitting of water and splitting of water into हाइड्रोजन एंड ऑक्सीजन बचा ये सेकेंड पॉइंट है जो कि बहुत 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 इंपॉर्टेंट है फर्स्ट एब्जॉर्बशन ऑफ लाइट एनर्जी बाय पिगमेंट देन एब्जॉर्ब तो कर लिया नाउ कन्वर्जन ऑफ दिस लाइट एनर्जी इन टू केमिकल एनर्जी एंड वेन यू आर कन्वर्टिंग इट देन देयर इज द स्प्लिटिंग ऑफ वॉटर बच्चे आप रॉ मटेरियल क्या यूज कर रहे हो सिक्स सी ओ टू प्लस ट्वेल्व वाटर मॉलिक्यूल सो दे हैव टू स्प्लिट अप सो स्प्लिटिंग मतलब ब्रेक होना ब्रेक डाउन ऑफ वाटर और दिस इज मेड अप ऑफ हाइड्रोजन एंड ऑक्सीजन सो जब स्प्लिटिंग ऑफ वाटर विल हैपन देर विल बी हाइड्रोजन एंड ऑक्सीजन विल बी रिलीज बेसिकली दिस इज वी कॉल इट एज अ हाइड्रोजन आइन्स आर released and oxygen is released here as by product right oxygen yahi se release hoti hai hamari then ab hame pata hi nahi hota hai hum book padhte hain and we just leave this line water se glucose nahi banta hai always remember by splitting of water oxygen is released By reduction, आपने chemistry में reduction and oxidation पढ़ा है Oxidation is your oxidation is your basically release of electrons or you can say loss of electrons. Reduction में क्या होता है Gain of electrons. So when I am saying that there is reduction of carbon dioxide and after reduction it is forming carbohydrate c6 h12 o6 so three things light energy is absorbing conversion of light energy to chemical energy water is getting splitted out and giving you oxygen and co2 is getting reduced and forming your carbohydrates ye teen events galat nahi karke aane hain right so stomata we are saying that this uh, co2 it is entering through the stomata so this that comes in three marks sometimes or two marks that what are the stomata stomata are you know that they are the basically tiny pores and we are uh, we find them they are present on the surface of leaf this diagram is in important that is uh, sometimes uh, we have to draw if the question is coming in three marks so here exchange of gases they help in exchange of gases do hi gases exchange hoti hain o2 and co2 they help uh, basically loses large amount of water during transpiration and that large amount of water during transpiration that is released when the stomata is opened up right so here you can see these are our epidermal cells and here is these are our guard cells and that is the uh, our chloroplast and here is the stomatal pore so this is the structure of our stomata and stomata are the tiny pores like structure suppose if you are making leaf structure i'm showing you ha na that is it is in your book also suppose this is my upper epidermis and here it is lower epidermis so here we draw always our stomatal opening stomatal structure and here is the xylem and phloem and then there is the parenchyma so this is the structure which is given in our ncrt also so is is this clear three steps stomata and its functions now come this was all about that is what 
you need to understand about that's it about the autotrophic now we are moving to the heterotrophic nutrition heterotrophic nutrition can be holozoic it can be saprophytic it can be parasitic bachcha teeno ke matlab bahut alag alag hain holozoic means uh, when animals they take in solid food and solid food and break down inside the body amoeba and other higher animals and saprophytic hote hain those which feed on dead and decaying matter jo hamari fungi karti hai parasites hote hain which either live inside or other uh, outside of other organism jisko hum bolte hain host other organism jaise virus basically kaam karte hain na they live inside other body or you can say tape worm basically so parasites they live inside or outside the other organism and they derive nutrition from it here uh, one example which is given in our book that is for your mcqs also cascuta it is a plant parasite it shows parasitic nutrition ticks ticks hoti hai ticks also is an example of parasitic mode of they show heterotrophic nutrition parasitic mode of nutrition now um, quickly i will take how basically single celled or higher organism they take in their food there are two things which i discussed when i discussed this chapter in very detail so i'm not hearing uh, taking this in very much detail i'm just giving you a flow chart for complete detail you can go to the playlist and i will uh, put my option box basically so unicellular or single cell amoeba is single cell organism so food is taken up through surface through the entire surface so here you can see that this is food particle now pseudopodia they gather around this food particle and it is taken in there is a formation of food vacuole and it is taken in and then food is taken in and it is digested out so here are four steps through which amoeba digest its food sometimes these diagrams they are asked in the practical based questions that there is the food particle pseudopodia they gather around this food particle then there is food vacuole which is formed and this food is taken in so pseudopodia is what what is pseudopodia this is cell membrane so it is a extension so it is a kind of extension of cell uh, membrane it helps in capture food so food is taken in food vacuole is formed food vacuole is formed so food is completely taken in the food vacuole and there is diffusion movement of the substances into the cytoplasm after digestion again undigested part is moved to the surface and then thrown out clear pseudopodia first you have to mention then you have to mention food vacuole and the digestion of food in the food vacuole then it is the going moving into the cytoplasm and then undigested food is move through the surface and thrown out paramecium may we talked about that in the in the paramecium there is basically throughout the structure there is the cilia so cilia there there is cilia present all over the body and uh, in my uh, complete description i will give you link here there i mentioned the complete process in paramecium also with the diagram so cilia is there and food is taken in and food is taken at the specific spot and then there is the digestion happens right in my next revision lecture i'm going to start with the nutrition in human beings or you can say i'm going to start with holozoic nutrition holozoic nutrition may we are going to talk about ingestion digestion absorption assimilation and ingestion as well as with the questions right so this is the easiest part after this we are going to start moving to the little complex part